In this lab, they're taking the use of human technology another step forward. The Audubon Institute in New Orleans leads the field in cryobiology, using super freezing methods to preserve the sperm, embryos and DNA from rare animals. Pioneering this research is Dr. Betsy Dresser. She's holding a single antelope embryo. The containers all around her could hold the whole of the Serengeti, preserved for hundreds, maybe thousands of years. This is a frozen zoo. If we carry on destroying natural habitats the way we are, pretty soon, for some endangered species, these containers could be the only habitat they have left. Creating a frozen zoo is extremely difficult. The embryos have to be made in a test tube, what we call IVF, in vitro fertilization. To do this, you need to collect both sperm and eggs. Today, they're preparing a clouded leopard for surgery. She's had hormone treatment to stimulate egg production, and she's now going to have some of her eggs removed. Dr. Dresser is convinced that this is the only way forward. This is kind of the emergency room of the wildlife business, you know. It's very high-tech research that we need to do to save these species. If a woman was going for IVF, mm -hmm. is it the same kind of treatment that a woman would have? Yeah, it, it's very similar, actually. Collection is done very much like what, uh, what we're doing. At yeah. the state-of-the-art labs, the team is made up of top veterinary scientists and experts in human IVF treatment. How long do you think clouded leopard has if no one does any of this work? This cat may only have another five, ten years in the wild if we don't do something about it. What you're seeing on the screen is the inside of a clouded leopard tummy. And we're on the search for clouded leopard eggs. So what exactly are we seeing there? Well, you're, you're starting to see some internal organs, the gut. And what we need is ovaries. Ovaries, right. We need to find the uterus and, and the ovaries. Once they're located, it takes immense skill to remove the microscopic eggs from the leopard's ovaries. And how many do you think we'll get? You know, it, it's really difficult to tell. Maybe 10, maybe more. And each of those eggs that we find today could be a potential leopard kitten. Yeah, the beginning of life. So here is the start of life, an IVF life, when sperm is put with the egg to create an embryo. The next step in frozen zoo technology is learning how to freeze and successfully thaw the embryos and sperm. Every species is different and each stage of the process can take years to perfect. But already they've had success and I was in for a real treat. Betsy had some new IVF babies to show me. Oh, look at them. These are the world's first test tube caracal cats. Wow. Oh. This is what we're in the business for. 